That's what he does for us. We don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be fearful. Oh, God's going to send me someplace I don't want to go. He's going to make me give something up that I don't want to give up. I don't know how many times that I've heard, and you've probably heard as well, when we've had missionary guests here. Well, how did you end up on that far side of the, the world? Oh, a missionary came to the youth camp where I was. Something sparked inside of me when I heard that. I went on a, just a short-term missions trip. My youth group just went for a week. Couldn't get away from that. When I came back, God kept speaking that to my heart. Well, Psalm 139. When God knits us together, when he sees all the days of our life, he puts inside of us passions, skills, talents, abilities. And when the moment comes that you go, oh, that, that just lights the fuse, that clicks with that passion. Yes, this is what I, this is what I want. God's not going to say to you, go to this place that you hate going to. You're going to hate every minute of it. And I don't really care. That's where I'm sending you. That's not very loving. But when he already places inside of us the passion for that, and then a couple of his disciples show up, hey, the Lord needs you over here. And it clicks. Listen, if you would have told me as a teenager that I'd be here pastoring a church, I would have told you you were crazy. There was no way in the world. But God kept sending people across my path, hey, the Lord needs this. The Lord needs you here. And it would click. And I'd move a little bit closer and a little bit closer and a little bit closer until I ended up here. He's not going to send you someplace that I have no desire. I have no ability to do anything there. I have no passion for this thing. When he comes and says the Lord needs it, he's already prepared you to be able to do that.